put your best foot forward. What does that mean? This slide gets a little bit into that in terms of what the Hertz Foundation is looking for. Um, so one is depth. We, we, we talk a lot in the selection process and the interviewing process about depth and breadth. So the first bullet point is about depth. So that's the idea of, okay, you've chosen a field of study or you're currently in a field of study. How deep does your knowledge go? So I majored in chemistry. So there's a certain expectation that in my training as an undergrad um, chemistry major, I would have you know, a certain depth of understanding and sort of physical organic, or mostly physical chemistry, since this is a physical sciences oriented fellowship. Um, so, you know, the, the, the ways that you can talk or speak to the depth of your understanding in your field um, and in for, as a result of your training is one thing that, um, for example, your chronological synopsis shows, aspects of your personal essay. Again, this is all holistic. It's not as if you have to represent this in one place, but that is one aspect that the Hearst Foundation is looking for. Creativity. I think this is where the personal essay is most important. What's creativity? I, I think of creativity always in terms of creativity and independence. So sort of, you had an idea. However, you know, don't worry about, you know, it's not like I had this idea and then it became a published paper. You know, it doesn't have to be, I, I, feel, I feel like people feel a lot of pressure to be like, I had a product out of this creativity. That's not the point. The idea is how did you maneuver in a situation where you saw an opportunity to think independently? I think that kind of thing is something that we really get excited about as people who, as, as interviewers, as people in the selection process, to see somebody just get really excited about an opportunity and move themselves in that direction just because they got so excited about it and found a way to solve a problem or to you know, take control and, and showcase an idea that they had. I think that's, you know, whether it is, you know, there was no class available for this subject that I was really interested in. So I grabbed a textbook and I like found the expert in this field and I worked with them myself for the summer to like work through this textbook, which would not sound like a typical example of creativity or independence, but shows that kind of initiative that we can get really excited about and is part of understanding somebody and where, you know, we're basically trying to, in a way, predict the future, saying this person has a really promising potential. How do we do that? By looking for these kinds of examples of where somebody took control and really, you know, drove something forward in atypical ways, right? Not necessarily like I published a nature paper. Um, I think in the same vein, this commitment to applying research to solve problems, right? Interest in, um, this is a little bit where breadth, the idea of breadth comes in, you look out at the world, okay, you're, boom, I am a chemistry major, but you know, the things that I'm doing right now don't necessarily, are not necessarily related to problems I see in the world and the direction I wanna go in. So the, people, you know, examples of where you're really interested in something because you think it's really important to humanity, to the world or, you know, to the direction of a field. I mean, that kind of, you know, it goes hand in hand with the creativity and independence, just saying, I, I feel like this is the direction that I want to go in for these reasons, because I feel very compelled by something. I think that kind of drive um, and that kind of in showing that kind of interest, you know, don't be afraid to say, you know, I don't know anything about this right now, but I know that it's really, I feel that it's very important. And these are the reasons why I feel it's important and why I want to go in this direction. So it's, um, that's where the breath comes in. So that's like, you know, I don't have training in this, but I feel like it's important. That's the direction I want to go in. I feel like my training right now is going to help me, you know, move there. Um, and so try to help us understand where you came from, where are you going, and the reasons why um, you're making these movements. And again, it goes hand in hand with the last one, active leaders. I think everything that I've said right now is kind of a definition of an active leader, somebody who's thinking independently and you know looking for problems and getting excited about them. I mean, don't be afraid to be enthusiastic. I think there's this tendency to feel like you have to be very dry somehow and very like, I don't know, logical all the time. But I mean, I think I get most excited when I'm reading an application when I when I can like the enthusiasm of somebody's like dedication to a problem or something they were doing really comes through. So don't be afraid to like show yourself in a way and um, what you're excited about and why, because I think that really motivates us as, as selectors and interviewers to, to 
get to know you essentially. That's what we're trying to do in this application process. 